It's a feeling we all grapple with at some point perhaps late at night, after achieving something we've long worked for, or in a quiet moment of reflection, none of this matters. It's all meaningless. We tell ourselves we're just apes hurtling through space on a watery rock, caught in the grip of existential despair. The thought consumes us, why even bother trying if everything will eventually come to an end? Q days of sleeping in, mindlessly scrolling on our phones, avoiding work. Small, desperate acts to escape the crushing reality of life until we float peacefully into the oblivion of death where, at least, we'll be free of the burden of knowing it was all a waste of time. But Roman Emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius had a different perspective. He would argue we're only halfway there. Yes, recognizing the vast insignificance of life is crucial for living a Stoic life. But it doesn't end there. Some people become overly attached to material wealth, to status, to fleeting pleasures. They allow these shallow, temporary things to define their happiness. Yet, despite their constant desires, these things never truly satisfy. Meanwhile, there are those who, like us, see the futility of it all. We may even envy the ones who find joy in life's trivial pursuits. But why? Why is it good to be so aware of life's meaninglessness? How could Marcus Aurelius, the most powerful man of his time, offer anything useful to our modern existential crisis? The Wisdom of Marcus Aurelius Aurelius, often regarded as one of Rome's greatest emperors, earned his reputation through moral integrity and self-discipline. Historian Herodian said of him, alone of the emperors, he gave proof of his learning, not by mere words, but by his blameless character and temperate way of life. His wisdom came from embracing life's impermanence. He habitually meditated on death, the fleeting nature of existence, and the insignificance of most things. From this, Aurelius arrived at two key principles, act justly, and love what life brings your way. Aurelius divided philosophy into three domains, the physical, the ethical, and the logical. When it comes to the physical world, he focused on desire and distractions. To desire something is to label it as good, but, as both you and Aurelius know, most things aren't as fulfilling as we expect. Desires often lead us astray, making us chase what isn't truly good for us. Aurelius believed we should strip away these desires and the impressions they leave on us. Advertisements, for example, promise happiness through products, but deep down, we know a new phone or fancy shoes won't bring true fulfillment. Yet, these desires still hold sway over us. He urged us to see things as they truly are. That smartphone. It's just metal and glass. That indulgent meal. Just the consumption of flesh. As Aurelius wrote, erase the false impressions from your mind by constantly reminding yourself of their true nature. The very insights that can lead to existential despair are also the ones that can free us. When we realize the emptiness of these desires, we waste less time chasing things that will never satisfy us. This ties into the concept of depressive realism, a hypothesis that suggests those with depression may see the world more accurately. Studies have shown that depressed individuals tend to make more accurate judgments about events and their own performance than non-depressed individuals. While this isn't an endorsement of depression, it suggests that seeing through illusions can be a path to deeper understanding. It's not things, but our thoughts. Marcus Aurelius believed that anxiety and despair aren't caused by things themselves, but by our thoughts about them. External things whether the opinions of others, material objects, or wealth can't touch our minds unless we let them. If we accept that these things don't matter, we can begin to care about what truly does. For Aurelius, the good life wasn't about fame or power, even though he possessed both. 
It was about aligning with nature and living justly, free from distractions. As he said, if you admit no distraction, but keep your soul pure and strong, nothing can stop you from living a good life. In this sense, realizing that nothing matters isn't an invitation to despair. It's a gateway to focusing on what does matter and living a life of meaning.